yesterday felt unbearable. You're not imagining it. 102 degrees is incredibly rare for Boston. The hottest June day in the record since records began in 1872. Boston's heat wasn't just intense. It was part of a clear climate trend. Our summers are getting hotter and stickier and therefore more dangerous. Daytime highs are rising. Nights aren't cooling down and the added humidity. Well, that makes it harder for your body to cool off, raising the risk of heat exhaustion, stroke and even death. In fact, heat is now the deadliest weather hazard in the United States. So let's break down the data. Our friends at Climate Central say Boston, their overnight lows have increased more than two degrees in the last 50 years. And now we see 27 sweltering nights each summer. That's important because sweltering nights can prolong heat stress and related health risk during the hottest time of the year. And during the day, we're also seeing more heat that has a direct climate change fingerprint with those extreme days now six times more common than they were a decade ago. But it won't just be hotter, it will feel hotter. For every one degree rise in air temperature, the atmosphere holds 4% more water vapor, meaning more humidity. Ironically, as we get more humid, it actually becomes harder to get scorching days like yesterday. Think Miami Beach. And now we're heading there fast. If we don't slow down our warming, Boston's average summer highs could rise nine degrees by 2100, giving us a climate that feels just like South Florida. So what's the message? What used to be unusual is becoming our new normal. And if we don't act quickly, this kind of heat won't be the exception, it will be the expectation.